Make sure we're coming in live. There we are. Awesome. Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to an unscheduled live stream. We thought we might be able to get this in today. Uh, today, what is the date today? Today is August 27th, 2020 and we're out in the patio. Okay, and uh, we're just gonna spend some time here and possibly harvest some uh, goodies and uh, what i want to do if you, you see you got some more strawberries so plan on um, what do you call it making some more strawberry liqueur hello uncharted days hope you're doing well awesome awesome <laughs> notifications went out i guess and i and i you know let the word out through the social network uh you know on discord and lo and gab and mines and vk and parlor and patreon uh that we're about to go live and uh it's a nice day today we're coming towards the end of the summer so uh, it's nice to spend time out here we've been harvesting some stuff uh here Thanks very much for the Twitch Prime, uh, for the Prime sub. Let's see what kind of emote we got. We got a diamond with a all-seeing eye in it. <laughs> Thanks for the hyper reveal, Uncharted. Uncharted Ace. Hope you're doing well. I think it's good to spend some time outside. Uh, chill with some of the chaos going on in the world our little relaxed space that we have here right so i'm thinking um what i need to do here a low spot of tea how are you doing if you remember remember our liqueurs our liqueur stream we did like a month ago month and a half ago and we made a big thing of strawberries we made this on july in july 2020 i didn't put the exact date on it right july 2020 strawberry right one cup of sugar and uh, about 20 ounces of vodka went in this right morning jj how are you doing slick mick how are you doing envious how's life so we put about 20 ounces of vodka in this right in july this is a strawberry liqueur and oh my god <laughs> so good so ridiculously good we're down to like this much right so i want to top this up and add oh i gotta bring the sugar i forgot to bring the sugar i'm gonna go get the sugar i'm gonna top this up with the strawberries we have here and add a little bit more sugar and more vodka and i got another jar here that we're gonna fill up and make another strawberry liqueur hannah good morning good morning i'll be right back i'm gonna go get the sugar because we need the sugar to do this with okay This is my bucket of where we keep the sugar. Okay. And you can see, gang. Hello, let's find out ASMR. Hope you're doing well. Birdie here, how's life? Elder God, vodka sounds good. It's too early for me to sample this. Well, not sample. We've, like, seriously, we've been taking this thing down. Like, the strawberry liqueur is insanely good. Insanely good. I right, try today, Chicho. I know this might be a, a bit off topic for today's stream. I want to start reading Venom and Immortal Hark. Can you recommend a good starting um, point with the currency? You know what? Uh, read it from the beginning. Uh, it's Donny Gates, right? So, I believe it's Donny Gates. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, and uh, Immortal Hulk is. Uh, ir oh, I forget his name. Uh, Oh, I forgot his name, but you have to read them. I haven't, I've, I've only read parts a little bit. I haven't read, I haven't, I've been 
pulling them, but I haven't been reading them. But you have to read them from issue number one. Okay, and Immortal Hulk made his first appearance in Avengers. Uh, I forget what the number is, but you don't need that issue. I have that issue, but you don't need that issue to start reading it. So for the, the Donny Gates Venom, read it from issue number one. And the uh, Ewig, Ewig, I can't pronounce his name, Ewig, the Immortal Hulk one, start from issue number one of Immortal Hulk. Okay, I actually don't have issue number one of Immortal Hulk. I jumped on it a, a few issues then, unfortunately. Right, so I would I would recommend getting the trade paper back on it. Okay, yes, forty five seconds ago. Oh, hey, JJ, Cheryl, how are you doing? Perfect timing, brother. Awesome, Starsky. Awesome. Nice to have you here, Peppy Lover. All LG for the great one shall rule the seven kingdoms forever and rain his wisdom upon us and feed everybody strawberry liqueur. <laughs> Funny. Sleepy waves, how you doing? Yo, what's up, Chicho? You're up early. What time do you usually uh, go to bed? Um, I don't know. It varies. Anywhere between 10 to 1. And no matter what time I go to bed, I'm up by 5, 5.30. Right. I like... I like early mornings. Currently, try and wake up at six to be super productive. Yeah, I, I've gone through phases, right? Let your body just listen. Look, sleepy waves. Listen to your body, uh, within reason, of course, right? Uh, th there's been periods in my life where I go to bed at six, seven o'clock in the morning with the sunrise. I stay awake. So listen to your body. What's up, Chicho? Flex, how you doing? Or flex, Felix, how you doing? <laughs> When the legend Smith says, "Greetings, greetings, Jade Mask, Jaded Mask, Chicho, you need to braid the beard." No, I've tried it a little bit before, just for fun. Someone braided it for me. It looks cute and all that jazz, but I like this look. Braided seems like a hassle. Ah, oh, we got another emote. Randall, how are you doing? Let's see what kind of emote we got. Doink. What did we get? Oh wow, Randall, you gifted a lot of tier one subs, brother. Five tier ones gifted. I just got it. Wow, 40 viewers already. 40 viewers already. X, how are you doing? Randall, thank you very much for gifting the subs to Starsky, Graham. Graham, how you doing? Uh, the Smith, Major Shark, Shake Shark. I always forget it, what it is. Ripper, how's life? And uh, yo. <laughs> thanks for awesome Randall. thank you very much for the gifts would you ever shave the uh, beauty for sure i've been meaning to spot of tea i just haven't got around to it man i just haven't got around to it it's just i like this look i'm enjoying what i'm doing and it kicks me into a different mindset so i like i like what it is right now right i like what it is right now Hex go burr. Hex go burr. That's a new emote. 5 a.m. You too, huh? Yeah, Cheryl. <laughs> Are you at 5 a.m. too? I think Elder God goes to bed at like 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. Awesome. My wife won't let me go grow a beard. Uh, my whiskers are like uh, steel wool. Um, peppy lover, here's the thing. The initially when whiskers beard comes out it's hard it's sharp right but if once it grows for a little bit it becomes more tickly than prickly okay so if you're if your wife can handle not uh smooching with you for like two to three weeks three weeks probably uh she'll get tickle whisk whiskers instead of pickle whiskers and you can just grow a beard in a way that's not covering your mouth, right? I do with it. I only use Twitch for Chicho. Starsky. <laughs> Thanks for being here only for me, brother. I appreciate it. I can't wake up that early. I, I, Hannah, I didn't used to either, but then I just started. It's just the way it is, right? I'm starting college pretty soon, and I'm 
studying politics as one of the classes which websites would you recommend for political for uh, uh felix i got a web i got a video out there just do a search for chicho news and information sources uh, we had a few of them up there uh, pick the most recent one that's the most recent one i'm i'm following it's out there and if you don't find it let me know i'll link it to you in discord or just pm me and i'll provide you the link i share my sources of news and information every few months uh, so people know what type of info i'm following okay moisture i use a fever with me because burn everyone i don't know why auto mod peppy lover auto mod zapped it no razor burn i use uh i put out a video out there i'm still using coconut oil uh for shaving so it's fantastic Chicho, what advice do you have for being patient with working towards your goals like how do you truly trust the process i just do just sleepy wave just create just create just create uh not to a level where you're overwhelming yourself you're going to collapse and you know make sure you take time off and whatnot just stay true to yourself and just produce as the saying goes you know those people who've done writing before if you want to be a writer write every day doesn't make a difference what you're writing just write every day right have you tried treating your beard with oil do hair mask um i just the only thing i do is uh when i shave with coconut oil i get coconut oil on my hands and when i'm shaving i sort of hold my goatee and i shave so that's the only oil that gets on there, right? Oh, your wife makes some bath and body products. Nice. No wonder she's not into the whiskers. She likes smooth. <laughs> Coconut oil is amazing. Starsky, yo, Chicho, I'm building a uh, business. Uh, do you know any marketing strategy for uh, awareness? I t My marketing strategy is just to make things. But you need marketing, so I would look into it, whatever it is. I use oil as well. It's much better than foam. Yeah, for sure. Foam sucks. Marketing, marketing, marketing. Yeah. And go to forums, social networks, and stuff like this. Gang, I'm going to start cleaning the strawberries because we're going to fill up the thing. So I'm going to adjust a little bit. I'll try to keep up with the chat. Let me bring these guys over. Do a little adjust. And let's do this. The last batch of strawberries, by the way, gang, uh, they were unsprayed strawberries, but they weren't organic. I didn't realize that, right? These strawberries are organic. Heavy. Let's put these guys here. Let's bring up a knife. Lots of reaching going on. I don't use any skincare, sleepy waves. Got some nice skin on my fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of these strawberries. Now. Hey, come here, you. And it's really good strawberries, gang. Looks super delicious. I'm gonna put the strawberries into this. Apologies if I'm not gonna catch all the all the chat. If I'm missing any chat that's directed towards me, please let me know. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is because the sun is slowly shining, so I'm gonna take off my jacket. I love the flannel. <laughs> me too. Here in New England, people associate the flannel with weed dealers really love to see it being reclaimed nice 
yeah, I've been wearing, um, you guys call it flannel, I call it the uh, uh, plaid. Like in Canada, we sort of end up calling it just plaid jackets, Mac jackets, we call them. So to me, it's it's a Mac jacket. Eskiel, how are you doing? Thank you very much for the sub. By the way, gang, see these guys? These are our grapes hanging, right? Super cool, eh? Like all of these are grapes. They're almost ready. We're gonna sample some. Okay, we're gonna sample some. Just got back from 420 and <laughs> How's everyone doing? Awesome. I brought a smaller bowl. Chicho, I picked up the first of this season's uh, riled, riled grapes and apples at the farmer's market yesterday. I think it uh, did more for remind. Th I think it did more for reminding me. That it won't be in the 90s forever yeah someone helpful when it should be 36 degrees today wow wow yeah the temperature slowly dropping look at this right. really nice strawberries these are you know what i don't know what type of grapes they're uh, they're they're green they don't go red they're really sweet and juicy um, they're just coming in from the neighbors over the bushes so we directed them here and uh, build up this wall about three four years ago when we moved in uh, expecting for the grapes to come here so i'm not sure what what the official type of grapes they are ripe not ripe ripe okay the rile threw me off Look up elevator pitch. Practice a lot. Your product will interest private companies. Elevator pitch. That's a marketing thing, yeah? Present them your idea in one to two minute max. If you are lucky, they'll give you 10. But it's rare. Hmm. I've never heard of uh, elevator pitch. We were going through the strawberry liqueur like mad. Like. And when it's all good, we're gonna throw a liqueur party at our place so we know the strawberry liqueur is gonna go down. Mm. Wow. So good. an entrepreneur thing uh, it's my major basically you practice as if you were meeting someone in the elevator oh wow that's cool elevator and you had one minute to present your idea because that's all that they will give you oh wow okay cool elevator pitch and sometimes that's what it takes right Some of these strawberries, they're going moldy, right? It's just the way strawberries are. And I've given these guys a wash already, right? Just didn't take off the greens on them. I'm an economics graduate, Starsky says, as well. Should be fully utilizing. Cool. Death 420. I'm assuming the C stands for cannabis. But cannabis is more like life than death. C life 420. C death 420. Role playing is a great trainer, huh? The Vash. Hendry. Hey Chicho, I saw your channel in YouTube and just loved your work. I installed Twitch just for your channel. Awesome. Thank you for being here. And apologies for 
you know, it's just part of a decentralization. Just got to make sure that uh, we're not dependent on unreliable partners uh, from Silicon Valley, even though Amazon is Silicon Valley as well, in large part. Uh, but only one company to share information, right? It needs to be done just with the deep platform and the censorship and stuff. So I appreciate that you're you followed us here the name is over 30 years old wow all right use a new one wow 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 see that this is not bad i like it and the 420 is a rock and roll I picked it when I was 13 and ran a BBS on my Atari. Ah, awesome. Such a chill garden setup. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, in in these times, it's, I think it's pretty important to, uh, to have a chill setup. Uh, it allows you to process information. I'm going to just take a break. For, okay, we're gonna fill up the uh, top up the liqueur. Mm. We'll do a couple more. We're gonna to top up the previous. liqueur jar we have and then we're going to clean more and top up the next one or fill up another one let me just absolutely sadly i live in a city in a one-room apartment without any garden or even balcony okay so i visit my parents home often they have a garden awesome awesome envious and house plants are 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 really good like jade is an amazing house plant ferns are really good cacti are awesome i started with cactus right start going camping yeah eskiel chicho any advice when it comes to growing your own supply of green ones I just got started and uh, the sprouts process just start you just started like where are we talking cannabis if you're talking cannabis if you just started we're at the end of the season so in the northern hemisphere anyway yeah make your own garden in your little apartment um, any advice good soil get organic good soil Talk to your plants, take care of them. And don't stick with one strain, get a couple of different strains going. Right? Because one strain in certain certain times works better than another strain. Right? Chicho, are you going to start uploading more pre-recorded content to YouTube like in all in the old days? I see you mostly right now, Sleepy Waves, my editing computer my beast uh, has had a hiccup for the last few months uh, a few months ago it did right it's not able to handle processing long videos so until my next tech upgrade hardware upgrade the odds are if i do any edited videos they're going to be short they're not going to be long okay because uh, the computer is just not going to handle it i need to do a serious system upgrade i'm just uh, slowly uh, this year when I you know school season starting and stuff like this uh, because during the summer uh, you know my just like teachers right my income coming in isn't that much so once I start teaching again and if I start getting a surplus 
I'm going to do a serious tech upgrade. When I do a serious hardware upgrade, then I'm going to get back into editing, uh, creating more edited content. I was meaning to start it earlier, but I lost the hard drive and my processor, it's, I don't know what's wrong with it. I just, uh, and it's like, you know, 10 year old computer. So I'm not going to upgrade that. I need to get a whole new system and we will this year or this school year anyway. Okay, let's do the top up of the liqueur. Okay. Get good soil for cheap is the kicker, right? Good soil, I just go to uh, a hardware store here that has um, organic soil that I get. Take a look. This is the liqueur that we made like in July, right? And this was all the way to the top, right? With vodka as well. So it had 20 ounces of vodka in it and we're down to like this much. So I need to top this up, right? And the fruit usually shrinks. So there's more room here. So what we're gonna do is add some fruit. Yeah, let's add these guys here we have. I could cut these up because they're really big, but I won't. The bottom fruit will be fine, and the odds are we're gonna go through this pretty fast. Maybe. And the vodka will preserve it. And we eat the strawberries. I now got a Northern Light plant going and classic white widow cool envious chicho you still use your big bottles of absolute yeah <laughs> i got one here i had to go get a new one we ran out absolute i remember from a past stream you had those big bottles i always wonder who buys them <laughs> they have grocery shopping you must have a lot of chichos around Let's check it out. Okay, that's good. So, and I'm gonna add. Let me do this. Let's see. There's a little bit of a gap here, but I should arrange it a little bit better. But they'll sink in. Now we got the sun shining in, unfortunately. Let's see how long is it gonna take for it to check that out. I'm gonna add half a cup of sugar to this. Okay. Ricky, I have a question. I have a question about liqueur. One night, my girlfriend and I rewatched one of your streams, and you were, uh, insp we were inspired to make our own. We used strawberries, one liter of vodka, and one cup of sugar. Is that enough sugar? It depends. If you like it sweeter, you make it sweeter. If you don't like it sweeter, you don't make it sweeter, right? And it depends on the sweetness of the sugar, uh, of the strawberries, right? How ripe they are. And I think I recall you saying to leave leave it for three months is that correct no three weeks let me fix the camera again because it's not liking the sun shining on it so how are we gonna fix this up let me see if I can fix this up let's check it out oh yeah it's not gonna work at all it's gotta be like that so let's check this out don't lose it 
let's check this out. It really depends on uh, on the sweetness of the strawberries, right? Like these strawberries are really sweet, uh, so they're really nice. Uh, and I personally like the liqueur to be sweet. So this is this is one cup, and that's a half a cup. So I'm gonna add half a cup. Okay. And the way we pour the liqueur from this. I grab one of these things usually because once the vodka comes up and the sugar and settles, the liquid pops up, right? So instead of getting these big jars and pouring them like this, uh, when the mouth is big, I just use a little cup thing and you sort of tilt it, grab the liqueur, and this is your pour. So you pour your drinks like this, right? Uh, oh yeah, this was a half a cup. This is half a cup. And again, this is organic cane sugar. Okay. And I'm just going to put half a cup in there. Even half a cup might be too much, but that's okay. Yeah, let's put that guy in there. Rewarded to 10 others in chat. Thank you very much. 10 emo uh, share. 10 emo share. Nice. Thank you, Eskil. And we're just going to fill this up. See if we can get the sun shining through it. How do we get the sun shining through it? I mean, sun shining through it right here, actually. I can't bring it to the camera, to the thing, right? I'm just gonna leave it like this, okay? one bottle down yeah. we're gonna do this guy too okay I'm just gonna put what we have right now strawberries in there coolio thanks for the twitch prime sub a half a year as a join <laughs> nice. let's throw these guys in here these strawberries that we have right now and then we'll put the rest Cheryl, Chicho, uh, Chicho, will adding a sugar help prevent uh, discoloration? Ah, you know what? It, it hasn't. It does discolor. It gets uh, like pink color to it, right? Uh, particularly for peach. Uh, I have two jars that each have approximately uh, half an inch of head space, but the whole top layer is distorted. Yeah, it's just oxygen, right? Um, but they won't go bad. I haven't had any fruit go bad. Just the alcohol and the sugar preserves it, right? I use cane sugar is uh, one in one and honey in the other. It may not have been enough. Um, how sweet is it? Is it really sweet, Cheryl? Like that's one of the reasons I add, I make mine fairly sweet because that way I know it's going to preserve it's going to stay for a long time right uh, but the discoloration i've never been able to keep like strawberries the beautiful red color right it always goes into like pink and other fruits as well they they change color 
um, on the bright side like blueberries go black uh, cherries go black uh, blackberry stays black so the darker fruits become darker uh, the lighter fruits unfortunately they lose their pretty colors that being said the liquid gets the color from the strawberries like if you look at the strawberry liqueur it should be nice and red right where do you get your uh, qual um, quality jars uh, silk it, they're just random I'm usually buying mason jars coolio but uh, some of the other jars we get through you know sometimes we buy things that come in jars sometimes people put jars away like uh, they're giving stuff away so we pick this stuff up uh, if we go to a, like a garage sale or something and if they have really nice jars we pick them up so it's all random it's all random ding bobber how you doing chicho uh, you need some heftier uh, chat rewards um, sitting at 17,000 and most expensive item is 900 I want to s spend like 20,000 for something great um, I don't really know how to make the chat rewards but if you guys let me know how to create chat rewards in on discord give me the info um, I'll look into it I'll start creating some stuff I, I really haven't delved into twitch on that level yet I'm not a you know I do like sort of trinkets and rewards and stuff like this but my main focus has been just to do live streams make content and stuff like this um, but for sure and we do have to upgrade our uh, I think Elder God mentioned it our uh, subscribe gif it's still a zombie <laughs> but uh, ding bobber if you let me know how to do the rewards I'll add them on okay It'd be fun actually just to look at it and I actually have a couple of more uh, spots for uh, emotes that uh, we can add as the as a subscriber bonuses but uh, I haven't hopped on that we added the bald surge which is a Chicho surge Chicho Chicho surge mix and uh, that was that was awesome actually that was super cool coolio you're 43,000 the, the things rewards okay we gotta we gotta do something about that let's do let's do I might cut up some of these big strawberries because they're gonna shrink and it's gonna to leave too much space um, for nah, should we maybe we leave it the same because we want to freeze some of these strawberries but I think almost all of it is gonna be turned into liqueur perps how are you doing morning Chicho any idea why my cannabis plant is growing slower to harvest this season than in the winter season are you under lights or are you using natural light for us natural light uh, this season it's uh, we haven't had a hot, very hot summer where I am so I think a lot of the plants the fruit plants and stuff like this they haven't like my we have tomatoes here our tomatoes just started getting red ripening in the last like week really so if your natural light it could be just the season it's just hasn't been hot in your area if you're under na uh, grow lights then it could be the strain so do you uh, do you think if I start a new cannabis grow using my window light it wouldn't work out since it's so low in the sea yeah I don't think growing starting plants right now we're at the end of the season plants are going into flowering right now so I don't think it'll work if you're natural purpose it might be just like I know in the West Coast Canada 
our summer hasn't been phenomenal like really I haven't gone to the beach once to chill yet I've gone there to walk and stuff but I haven't spent a day at the beach reading comics or anything so that's how that's what it's been like here hey, Graham how you doing and again thank you Uncharted Ace and Rendell Rendell gifted uh, Graham I think it was Rendell that gifted the subs Ding Bob or Chichu, do you ever cut yourself accidentally? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but less and less as I've gotten older, right? Just because I know my instruments better and uh, I'm better at it. But for sure, that's one reason if, you know, if you have kids and whatnot, it's a good idea to get kids to learn how to cook how to handle themselves in the kitchen early on right because accidents do happen better uh, to make mistakes younger than older as long as it doesn't take you out of the game <laughs> train you teacher what are you going to train me kid Cheryl Bureaucracy kills. 100% agree. Hey, Chicho. Chicho, hey, man. I tried a raspberry liqueur a while ago, and it had what I'd call a medicine-like flavor. Why would that be? Hmm. What type of sugar did you guys use? It could be the sugar. It could be if the people used aspartame or something like this. I'm not sure. Our raspberry liqueur is phenomenal i wish we bought more raspberries to make liqueur as well by the way the la raspberry liqueur was fantastic it's definitely been cooler than usual this season but the heat's been keeping up these past yeah for us for us too we've gone through spurts of a couple of weeks of hot or e even just a week of hot and then a week of cold it's it's not enough you need sustained heat you definitely need sustained heat sun Koban the cob chicho hi chicho uh i'm late to the stream are all those strawberries grown no these aren't grown all in our patio these are uh these are organic strawberries that we bought from our csa uh, they offered every week we get herbs and stuff from a community supported agriculture uh, community supported like farming and uh, they said they had strawberries and anyone this was a special order from the csa um so far the raspberries have stayed together but usually the raspberries the blackberries the blackberries stay together too let me fix up the camera gang the sun is shining on the camera not sure how to fix it up this one i've already gone as high as i can with that guy let's see what we can do about it let's see what we can do about it the sun is shining the sun is shining here that's not very stable gotta be like that gotta be like that let's see how do we do this how do we do this it's gonna be very difficult to do this actually we could do this like this i'm gonna be right back gang i know how to fix this i think
Good thing it's not windy. Check this out. Comic book boards and these guys. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Things too thick for, so I'm going to use tack. full view again what have your students been uh, saying about school uh, they're, they're all over the place with it Graham regarding school they're all over the place with it some are loving going back some are a little hesitant to go back let's put these strawberries in should I make them just as big mm -hmm. Or should I cut these up? No, I'm gonna keep them intact, gang. It's just gonna take a lot of. I'm gonna shake it as we go. It's gonna take a lot of vodka. Chicho versus the sun. <laughs> some so they sink in and fill in the holes okay actually I, here, take some of these and cut up some of these a little bit of green usually don't want any green in there hey, come here MP, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Appreciate it. Oh no, I have to run. We'll try to pop back later. Cheryl, bye. Thank you for recommending the patio stream, by the way. We needed to do. Let it 
that set up, right? The little guys go down and the big guys come up, right? This is something that happens during... Uh, uh, you learn uh, something we learn in uh, geology class, geophysics class, where you get sediment, uh, like rock structures where you have the smaller pebbles in the bottom and the bigger boulders up top it happens during earthquakes and stuff right nice let's do a little bit more Spider-Man, good morning. And the strawberries are a little bit too ripe. I'm eating. Okay. Envious. Even when watching Chicho cutting strawberries, I learned new things about physics. <laughs> Geology, like, I, look, if you have a choice in school or any other time, really, to take an earth science course, do it. Very important to learn about this planet that we live on. It's our home. Highly recommend earth science courses. I think they should be mandatory, actually, to tell you the truth in school. Okay. This is the planet we live on. We need to know how it was formed. Chicho, do you have uh, your feature? The where to go? Uh, best thing is to enjoy some of the spoils while working on them. Yeah, best way to the only thing indeed. Uh, Chicho, do you have any featured albums artists picked out for the music? No, I haven't yet. I ha actually, uh, let me let me restate this. I do, but I have to uh, print them off and read the lyrics again. I can't tell you what they are. I, I'll tell you what they are during the stream. <laughs> there, uh, there's two that I have right now that are hip hop. Okay. But I might switch one of them from hip hop to maybe disco. Who's the? <laughs> Let me ask you. Who's the queen of queen of disco? Who's the queen of disco? <laughs> oh my god, I'm doing math as well. Calculating Chicho's percent of eaten versus storage. We're gonna... What do you call it? Uh, freeze some of these but we're out mm -mm. the queen of disco is not abba abba is fantastic but the goddess of disco who's the goddess of disco i agree i think that's one of the most important classes but nope we don't take classes for our benefit no if we did we would learn life skills and important information agreed emily which is crazy crazy they teach classes they get you doing mandatory classes based on indoctrination really mind you um, what do you call it English and math are mandatory and they are extremely important
I mean the hippie movement? No. That was a headbanger. Metal. Metal all the way. <laughs> and disco. I was a I was a full on headbanger. Metal with a closet disco lover. <laughs> most most people who appreciate metal, they would have been closet disco lovers. Because disco is phenomenal, right? But you can never tell your friends you love disco. Like, what? We need a reset. Graham, I agree with you regarding our education system. Stop eating Chicho 3% is not enough. <laughs> I'm just staying up with CPI, man. CPI, come on. This one's too ripe. This one's too ripe to go into the liquor. Chicho was too busy <laughs> providing all the Metallica for free with 30 computers at once. <laughs> Referencing previous comments I've made. Uh, it shows how long you've been here, Ding Bob. are awesome. This one needs to go down too. Napster bad beer. <laughs> see that that's hilarious for those of you that don't know that reference napster bad beer good is uh joe cartoon i believe it was joe cartoon that made a uh sort of a flash cartoon when metallica sued their fans for sharing their music too funny too funny chicago how are you doing hey chicho slow day at work this morning so glad i can catch a stream awesome glad to have you consumer price index consumer price index cpi hello chicho abdullah how are you doing i'm so glad to tune into you like the rocky franchise <laughs> i ended the cold war The Rocky franchise is hilarious. Man, did we have enough vodka to fill the sucker up? Possibly. I think English is important and teaching uh, socializing is important. So many children do not know how to socialize, I agree. Or they socialize and in the most wacko way. Socialize because they have been stuck in front of a TV their entire life. We need to teach life skills, survival, social compromise, uh, compassion, and things that everyone needs, needs like driving, cooking, taxes, yeah. I would say not necessarily taxes, but how the economic system structured, right? It's so hard to to adult because the current school system does nothing to prepare us for adulting. Agreed. Agreed. One hundred percent. Okay, gang. I think that's it. We're gonna keep a little bit for eating. Like we got a little bit here. We're gonna eat. But my hands are so messy right now. Should have brought more napkins. Oh, I got another one here. Nice. I'm gonna add one cup of sugar to this. Okay, that's it. Let me show it to you. We got this many strawberries. It's a nice big jar, by the way, right? So I'm gonna add one cup of sugar to this. This was half a cup, so I'm gonna add two of these guys. Okay, so 
one. That might be a little bit on the sweet side, but so be it. Let's put this guy here. Alright, take a look. Very nice. Very nice. And we're just gonna add the vodka. As the odds are, the whole thing, I might have to go get another one of these. I think we have bottles even bigger than this in our shop, bro. Oh, really? Man, I wish I could get bottles bigger than this. So that's good. And I'm gonna keep this much to top up some of the other liqueur bottles that uh, we've already sampled. So yummy, yummy. Let me put the lid on this. This is gonna produce good liqueur, right? Because the strawberries are gonna shrink and there's gonna be good liquid in there. Let's put this guy down here. Let's put this guy here. We take care of it later. Let's put this guy here. We take care of it later. Let's take these guys here. The strawberries, let's put here. Okay. Now. Let me move this guy. No, I've never filtered out the fruit to rebottle uh, bureaucracy kills. Um, I have provided, uh, like going to people's homes as a gift, I have taken a little bit of the liqueur into a small bottle and given it to them as a gift, right? And people really like it. Uh, but I've never, I never filtered it out, put it in another bottle, because that way the fruit, we would have to add more. I mean, I guess we could just filter out the liqueur into a bottle and then add sugar to the fruit and do another bottle let it you know become liqueur again uh, but one of the things with the liqueur the longer it sits the more flavorful to a certain degree it gets so uh, i do like the vodka sitting in the liqueur uh the the fruit sitting in the liqueurs right but it's not a bad idea if I had a whole processing system going, for sure, I would have multiple bottles, put the liqueur in there, and I would have bottles with taps in them, and then I would just tap out, you know, pour into a bottle, close it, add sugar, more vodka, shake it up, let it sit, get the flavor, do it again, do it again, do it again, right? Oh, it would be amazing. Have a whole pantry full of liqueur bottles. Maybe one day we do, right? Maybe one day we do. I'm gonna harvest a couple of things. We got some uh, tomatoes ready, so I'm gonna take down some tomatoes. I'm gonna show you some of the tomatoes. Okay. And uh, let me, sh I'm gonna take down a couple of uh, watermelon cucumbers as well. I wanna show you that as well. So let me show you the watermelon cucumbers first, All right? Oh yeah, 
it's already growing, so I can't show it to you. Watch this. Take a look at these. These are watermelon cucumbers. Right. Let's see if it focuses. <laughs> it's not gonna focus like that. <laughs> Let me show it to you. These are watermelon cucumbers, right? They look like little watermelons. Yeah, crazy. Take a look. And we got like six of them and there's more on the thing but it's a it's a cucumber vine growing right so it's sort of tangled up it's gone into the other plants and there's watermelon cucumber growing on them so i don't want to pull it It's not focusing, but I'm gonna I'm gonna bite into one to show you what it looks like. Crazy, huh? Let me go get some tomatoes. <laughs> I want mini watermelons to be a thing. <laughs> they do have little ones like those. And they are crunchy. It was a little uh, tart still, so I'm going to let the other ones grow a little bit more. But this is as big as it gets, really. They're little watermelon cucumbers. Okay. Let me show you what, some of the grapes. Hello, crafter. How are you doing? Coolio with unripe grapes. I'm adding them to food to make the dolmas and different types of food with chicken and lamb. It just makes it tart.
so that's good you know just this much so we can eat and then when we want more we just come and harvest more right that's what we've been doing we have cucumbers here we've harvested we've harvested uh, squash already from our garden we've we have strawberries so we've harvested some strawberries as well not nothing like the one we've been going through right just a handful but it's nice harvesting your own fruits and vegetables and eating them right that's dude oh let me show you uh some more tomatoes there's tomato plants are over here so i'm gonna step out of the screen for a second i want to show you our tomatoes Here's some of our tomatoes. There's more going to be ripened, but we got uh, the cherry tomatoes, right? And we got like bigger tomatoes. So just it's just started, by the way. It's like we have a lot of tomatoes coming in. <laughs> These are the first batch. <laughs> Take a look. Right. So these are our tomatoes. which is which is awesome right because orga organic tomatoes cost a fair bit of money uh, when you buy them in the stores right? mm. so sweet so good phenomenal So nice. Wow, wow, wow. Let's put these guys here. And I think that's all we're going to harvest right now, gang. Fun. We got the wind picking up a little bit, so I don't mind my little doohickey thing to possibly flip over. Um, and that's good. We got, let me show you the liqueurs again. So we top this up, right? Added this much strawberries, filled up that much vodka. Oh, yeah, I can't forget the watermelon cucumbers. Let's put that in our stash as well. And. We made another big strawberry liqueur, all right? <laughs> nice. And this we're gonna let sit. And we're set up for having enough liqueur for the winter, right? I hope you guys are doing well. We're gonna be live streaming again tomorrow for the next five four days and then one on wednesday i believe okay tomorrow we're going to do current events on friday tomorrow i believe 9 a.m we're going to do current events on saturday and sunday we're we'll doing comic book readings okay uh, one of those ones is going to be a comic book that was sent to us by ripper from portugal and it's a sort of parody for julian assange being in the ecuadorian embassy and the other comic book reading is going to be one of the ones four we got left from this set to read uh, and on monday we're going to do a lyrics stream and on wednesday we're in the kitchen doing a cook 
okay and we're gonna talk about nostalgia okay uh, thanks for being here gang um, for those of you who want to know who we are what we're up to what we're doing uh, when next movie stream next movie stream it has to be uh, envious we've got to give, give enough time for people to watch uh, the movies because we've got four movies to watch so that's a fair bit for some people um, so next either the next set or the set following so we're going to give anywhere between three weeks to a month for people to watch the movies and if we can we'll try to make it a on a set date every month that we announce them we watch them right we announce we talk about them we announce we talk about them so we'll stagger it one month apart maybe um, yeah there would have to be double streams on the sets right we talk about the movies and then we pick a, a bunch of new ones so let's say not next set but the following set okay yeah for sure so you got time envious uh, four movies some of the movies are pretty heavy in the previous set they were pretty heavy <laughs> so you got to give people time to process the information forbidden planet tombstone breakfast club el topo yeah like uh forbidden planet is just nice 1950s sci-fi tombstone is heavy okay breakfast club is just fun movie and el topo is crazy heavy right crazy heavy crazy heavy okay gang if you want to follow this work i'm on patreon if you want to support this work aside from twitch primes bits and all all the stuff here participating in discussions coming to the live streams of course on twitch and watching the videos on youtube and whatnot and bit shoot uh patreon is a fantastic way to support this project okay you can follow the work there i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share a like okay we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in the chat here <laughs> here as is happening twitch is where you want to be at and mods thank you very much for taking care of business gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs rendo thank you for uh, donating the subs uh, getting five more people online uh, for subscribers and whatnot uh, thank you for redeeming points we'll look into them see what else you can do okay and uh, i'll say this back to patreon again those of you supporting through this work through patreon thank you very much for being there i should say this more often and i do whenever um, whenever i think i haven't mentioned it as often as i should okay uh, but thank you very much for supporting this work i appreciate it uh, and it keeps keeps us going really right i do announce these live streams if they're mm, that's a bike if they're uh, unannounced just before we go live uh, on Elo Mines, VK, Parlor, Gab, and Twitter. Okay. And 30 minutes before we go live on those platforms, and the links will be in the description of this video after it's been uploaded to Bitchute and YouTube. And they are available on, you know, I link up everything. So you can follow the work there. For the live streams where we're recording on the lapel mic, which I am not doing right now, we do upload the audio to SoundCloud. And uh, if you want to listen to the content, to the discussions that we have in audio format, uh, you can follow the work on SoundCloud and they will be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify. I love you, system. Thanks. <laughs> Rape life. <laughs> Serge, is that you? To a certain degree. To a certain degree. We have certain uh, similarities. My solo stuff? My solo stuff is not bad either. <laughs> we will be uploading this video to YouTube and BitChute. And uh, you can follow the work. You can subscribe, you can comment, uh, you can share. And uh, if you are on YouTube, you can support this work by joining YouTube membership. Okay. Aside from that, gang, thank you for joining me this morning in our little patio, making liqueur, harvesting some fruit, having uh, chit-chat 
regarding different topics, right? Take it easy to your chat and lurkers. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic day. And if you can make it tomorrow, we talk current events. We take it serious. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks for the stream, Chito. My pleasure. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows, gang. Bye, everyone.